Hi, my name is Shen Kanqian. I am a master student at Shanghai Tech University, and we will now present our paper "Speech Drives Templates: Code Speech Gesture Synthesis with Learned Templates." Audio-driven gesture synthesis is to generate body movements that resemble a human being and match the speech audio. Recent data-driven methods have shown advantages over early rule-based methods. It is commonly mentioned in previous methods that the mapping from a given audio clip to visible gestures is not unique, but the problem is still not well resolved. For gesture learning, pure regression suffers from underfitting because the ground crew's gesture is not the only visible one. For evaluation. Most methods still rely on direct distance measurement or human study as the only metrics, which are either biased or subjective. Our model takes in an audio clip and a condition vector to generate a gesture sequence. This condition vector is called template vector in our paper because it functions like a gesture template. Here is an example. Given a speech audio. Our method generates three gesture sequences conditioned on different template vectors. Look how this gesture differs, and how each of them perfectly matches the speech audio. You just heard Ryan getting another erection when I said those words. Now let's see the results of the same template driven by different audio clips. Note how the gestures share a common pose while move in its own space. Like a pretty big deal. Think about it. Going into this week, there were already multiple investigations into Russia's efforts to swing the election. The reaction to the sentence "I pay all my taxes" should never be incredulous laughter, unless. Let, let, let me give you just a taste of the kind of spectacular corruption involved. Take Agent Hoel Luna. The pipeline of our method is quite simple. Given an audio clip, we first transform it into a mouse spectrogram. Then fit it into a 2D CNN to obtain the audio feature. We also take a template vector and replicate it along the timeline to construct a template feature. Then we concatenate the two and fit them into a unit to get the predicted gesture sequence represented as upper body key points. We also use an image warping and translation module to synthesize images. Well, you must be wondering how we obtain the template vectors. Here is the answer: for an arbitrary video, we split it into short clips. Then each clip is paired with a template vector. We provide two ways to learn the vectors. The first way is to optimize them with the backdropped gradients of the regression loss. The second way is to train a VAE of all gesture clips and take the encoding of each clip. As its template vector, we adapt previous methods onto our setting and conduct comparisons. The truth is, with the exception of baby formula, the federal government does not require any food to carry an expiration date. And that works well for diatomics. We can take s and p orbitals and overlap them and form molecular orbitals. 一个烂壶，那这不也是啊，属于全年交易吗？所以司法解释说得很清楚，有一个经过了几十年的不懈斗争，刚刚从西班牙的殖民统治中独立出来的小国。Our results are stable and diverse while remaining highly synchronized with the audio. In objective evaluations, our model achieves lower FTT scores, indicating higher fidelity and larger variety, and with lower lip sync error as a proxy metric. Our results show a high quality of synchronization. However, if we assign a vector for each frame of a clip, the effect of audio will be weakened. Ryan getting another erection when I said those words. Our methods also earn more preference in subjective evaluations. Note the high correlation between lip and body synchronization. Our results from template vectors span a larger space, indicating a higher diversity. The template gestures of opposite vectors exhibit clear semantic symmetry, indicating a well-trained template space. Thank you.